traders, Julius de Campenaar here for tradinganalysis.com on this Monday, the 10th of June. Quick video at the start of the week, taking a look at current sector rotation. And it's an interesting picture. A uh, very heavy concentration of tails on the left hand side of the graph. If we go to the RRG, then we'll see that the majority of the sectors is on the left hand side. And as you know, the left hand side of the RRG indicates a relative downtrend versus the benchmark and in this case the benchmark is the S&P 500. Only two on the right hand side that's communication services and technology two important sectors but the problem is that technology is clearly on a weaker rotation rotating out of leading and into weakening already for one two three four weeks and it's now at a negative heading towards the lagging quadrant and communication services had entered the leading quadrant but is now starting to roll over so this is a daily chart so the, oh sorry this is a daily chart so this is five week five days and this is also five days so we're like since last friday we rolled over indicating some short-term weakness to materialize in xlc and xlk on the other hand, we see some improvement on those daily charts for the, the consumer uh, sectors, both XLP and XLY, consumer discretionary and consumer staples are picking up, although consumer discretionary is still at a very low level. Nevertheless, the, the, the heading is pretty strong. And it's the same for energy, although that is also still at a very low reading on the RS ratio scale. Utilities moving over into the lagging quadrant, clearly going through a bit of a um, setback, a corrective move right now. And then here we see healthcare now picking up while still inside the lagging quadrant and staples just crossing over um, into improving. The, the biggest message here is the uh, continued strength for tech and communication services because they are on the right hand side and the weakness for pretty much everything else. But the momentum based corrective moves and recoveries on the left hand side as it stands right now. But if this if these moves start to change on the RS ratio scale, meaning that these sectors are now starting to move higher on the RS ratio scale, that means that they're picking up relative trend and these are starting to move to the left. XLK is already doing that, XLC not so much. That's when you see a trend change. And let me have a quick look at the technology sector because we'll dive into all of this uh, when we do the SIS report on Wednesday. But for as a quick heads up, I want to look into uh, the technology sector because probably the sector everybody's watching right now. And if we look at the chart, then that is the let me put the RRG lines there because that's where you see the rollover. That's why it's inside the weakening quadrant. The RS ratio is the red line is still above 100. The green line, the dotted green line is below. That's pushing the tail into the weakening quadrant. So rolling over, still in an uptrend, relatively spoken, but uh, rolling over. If I look at a very simple uh, RSI indicator, then I think that we can, this qualifies as, um, as a negative divergence. There was already a negative divergence in this area here until uh, the end of May when, when tech was gradually moving higher and it wasn't confirmed by the RSI. And now we had a dip to 40 and the high is roughly at the same level as the previous peaks. But the RSI is nowhere near the same uh, level. So that is um, qualifies as a negative divergence. And negative divergences are, they're not necessarily a, a strong sign of a reversal, but they are definitely a sign of, um, of caution and suggesting at least a, uh, a sideways move or a pause in the current trend and sometimes a reversal, whether that's going to happen, that remains to be seen. But it's definitely something that I pick up as a warning sign that there is some trouble for the technology sector at current levels. And the final thing that I want to share with you or look at with you is a breakdown of the technology sector into the various groups. And now it's becoming very interesting because this is the 
These are the industries inside the technology sector and the benchmark is the S&P 1500 information technology sector. And what you see here is that the only industry inside the leading quadrant is semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, and it's already rolling over. Um, so a huge weight or a huge contribution of semis and not so much by all the others. If I look into that, then it's especially the, uh, you know, electronic equipment and the software industry that you should not be watching. Um, we got communication equipment picking up. We got technology, hardware and storage. That's probably the one that is the best one to take over from semis. If we're going to, you know, expect this semi tail to continue lower, that it is coming to a period where it needs to go through some sort of a correction. Mind you, it's a correction. It's still way on the right hand side of the graph. It means that these semis are in a relative uptrend versus the technology sector. Uh, it's been driving this, uh, this sector, but it's a very narrow group. And it looks as if we're seeing some sort of a rollover, some sort of a pause of a stagnation in that relative strength um, taking place right now. And then of all the others here, I think that the, the best possible replacement is probably technology hardware and to a lesser degree, but it's kind of looking for something, uh, is communication equipment. The end of the story is that this technology sector is mainly driven by semis and not with anything else. And that makes it a very narrow base for a further gains, uh, which is similar to what's happening in the S&P 500. Clearly, this is still a very strong sector, but we've got to be careful that because there are some signs that signal at least uh, a bit of a pause, a bit of digestion coming into semis and technology in general. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments or with a like. And please check in for the SIS report that I'll be doing with Todd Gordon, as usual, on Wednesdays. Hi, it's Todd from TradingAnalysis.com. Thanks so much for watching. Listen, my team and I have uh, so much to share with you in terms of our technical analysis or fundamental analysis, uh, portfolio management tactics, trading in and out, maybe options, sector rotation. Let us know what's most interesting to you. Uh, maybe uh, drop that in the comments section and we'll do our best to work it in. Also, uh, consider clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we put out new videos. And finally, you can check us out at tradinganalysis.com if you'd like to see us manage our real portfolios in real time. Thanks again for watching.